Well, I said I was going to make a, a, a long video. It looks like I'm going to have to make uh, two or three videos. Because uh, it cuts me off every ten minutes. I think they've done something to my phone where I can only make a ten minute uh, video. But never mind. I I'll get it done. So this is going to be part two. But uh, I'm done with her for all. You know, I still let him make his comments, and then he'll come back and say something nice once he realizes that I got a phone again. I'm back on the air. But, um, I have wanted to touch on, um, these, uh, you guys have been, uh, commenting that I don't hear from. Uh, a lot of times when you come in, uh, people have been telling me it's going directly to spam. I don't even see it in my spam half the time. So, uh, let me see, one was, uh, oh, her name is, uh, Patricia Robinson. She said that she sent me, she been sending me, uh, messages and it's been going to spam. I didn't, I couldn't find it in spam. And there was another one, um, uh, uh, it looks like Serena, Serena W., she, she sent me an uh, email saying that she uh, trying to contact me, and it went to spam. I'm not, nothing from her was in spam either. Now, I did see something in spam from someone named Sarah. That's it. But there was no message. It just had her name, Sarah. So, when you guys contact me, I think the only way, if you don't hear from me, you need to give me a call. My new number, I don't know how long I'm going to have this. I've had at least six phones in the last six months. Uh, my new number is 708-759-3227. If you can't give me a call, if you don't hear from me, because that means I'm not getting any messages. I'm not getting any comments, and I'm not getting any messages. But uh, Sarah, uh, um, Serena... And Patricia, God bless you, and thank you for trying to contact me. I will try to get in touch with you on, I think you said Snapchat. Snapchat, I don't know how to use that yet. Uh, but I'll learn how to do it, and I'll try to contact you that way. Uh, something else I wanted to touch on? Because, like I said, I don't see it even in my spam. Oh, it's the bank. Uh, bank of America. They go find me account. The guy did send me the money. They had, they had a hard time giving it to me the first time when he sent me the fifty dollars, and this time when he sent it, when he sent it, uh, I went to the bank to see if that account still open, and it was. And he told me I had a eleven dollar uh, negative, cause see I opened that account in March, and I really hadn't put no money in there, and it's a it's a uh uh, uh since the guy sent the fifty dollars. Since Mr. Hendricks sent the fifty dollars, I hadn't had any money in there, so he told me it was eleven dollars in negative, and I told him cool because by the time Gopal get the uh, uh some more money, it would have should have been forty five dollars some change. So he told me it take four days for him to give me a replacement card, and it take two or three days for the money. Uh, Gopal me said five days, and we all know again that it don't take but a second to transfer money into account. But see, I took a business accounting a long time ago, and I know all about how transferring money back and forth. You understand what I'm saying? And, uh, um, because, as you know, it, it takes no time for you to transfer, uh, money. Even in the old videos, long, long time ago, that when them banks and them businesses doing, it didn't take no money to transfer uh, no time to take, transfer money from one account to another. A few minutes. A few minutes do you transfer money. Now all of a sudden it takes five or six uh, days to transfer money from one account to another? Please. Oh, uh, that's about the acting too. And I know any agency, any of these telephone companies, any cable companies can find out this hacking as soon as they can. It doesn't make any sense for them saying they don't know who's doing the hacking. Because when I was taking my accounting class, I was sitting in my classroom because they were teaching us uh, computer programming. And I was an A-plus student in computer programming. And uh, 
They told us one thing not to do is to hack into anybody's uh, services, especially banks. And while I was sitting there in class, the FBI came and arrested one of my classmates. He had went and hacked into one of the banks and took uh, the money and transferred it into his account. Now, it didn't take but a few minutes before he did that for the FBI. Well, I was right there arresting him. And I know years and years ago, maybe 40 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, when they were hacking, they had some trucks rolling around. They can tell you what apartment you was in or look on the computer and see everything you did. Now they're telling me they can't find out who hacking who? Really? When I know they have these devices, they can send you directly to go to their MAC addresses, go to their IP addresses. They know exactly what is what is uh, harassment is coming from. They know exactly what is hacking is coming from. Now they're going to tell us that they don't know that? That they can't find out who's hacking us? Please. But, uh, uh, the only reason he let me know I had any money in there, because I asked him what's my forty-five dollars in there. He told me it was going to be eleven dollars. Say put it in the money. I said go on, take the eleven dollars. When the money comes, I'll just get. I thought about thirty-five dollars I'd have left. I get there yesterday, and I have twenty-two dollars. I get fifty dollars that uh, I was donated on the twenty-fourth. But number one, he didn't tell me the money was there. I asked him. I said, "Has my money come in?" He told me no. I said, well, I had to pull and let him know that I took computer accounting and that I know the money should have been transferred. I said, well, they told me the money was transferred on the 24th. And then he said, well, let me look. And then he looked. He said, well, what's the amount of money? I said, well, it should have been transferred $45. And then he's going to say, well, I see you have $22. I said, I had $22. I said, you told me the other day I was only minus $11. Well, now I went to him on the 24th. He said, well, on the 25th, we uh, tacked on another fee cause for a service, a something fee, a service fee. So now you have $22. Now, as I said, I opened that account for March. And if you only took out $11 for March up until now, how could they take out $12 on the 25th? And how come the, the fees change? If you took out $11 for March, I mean, since March, why would you jump up to $12 for, um, what's this, July? So you took out $11 for March, April, May, June, but then you took out $12 for July. These things, this government, all this gang stalking, they are stupid as hell. Because there's no way, I said I had a $20 fee, but I didn't squabble. I just went on and got my $22 and went on about my business. Oh, you know what? Um, with this voice of skull, somebody, uh, Joe gave me the patent number to these voice of skull, uh, devices that they're using. They gave me the patent number to it. Uh, uh, how to look it up and find it. So when we do start suing and have people locked up, and one's dying for crimes against humanity. Uh, they told me uh, the patent number. And what I realized is something has changed with uh, this device. Some, n now, sometimes I can hear what they're thinking. Not, not just talking, but hear what they're thinking. You understand what I'm saying? I can, I can hear them talking, I can hear what they're thinking. Because a lot of them, a lot of our gang stalkers now, have the same technology in their head. They had a voice to skull. So they don't need their phones to communicate. They don't need their phones or, or the text like they used to in the past when I first came into this uh, uh, gang stalking. When I first came into the MK Ultra. They can communicate with each other with the same voice to skull technology that uh, they're using on us. Also, Also, uh, you can push them. You can push them by, I'm going to have to end this and make another video, but I'm going to tell you what pushing them is. All right, you guys, I'll be back for part three. Love you. Bye-bye.